Hi everyone, I'm Megan Dorman. I'm the bar director of Rain's Law Room in Dear Irving, and I'm based in New York City. Today, I'm gonna to make one of our most popular cocktails for you called the Wildest Redhead. And this is a variation on a whiskey sour, but we're amping up a lot of the flavors I love about blended scotch with an allspice honey and some cherry hearing at the end. I love to use blended scotch in cocktails because it's a journey around Scotland. You get a little bit of everything the country has to offer, but in a consistent, affordable product. So here we go. I'm gonna start with our lemon juice. So citrus is always gonna make you a shaken cocktail, some variation on a sour, which is a great formula to know. So three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Same amount, three quarters of an ounce of our sweet element, which is an all spice honey. You could make this at home with a little bit of warm water in honey and infuse it with baking spice like allspice, clove, or star anise. So we've got our sour, our sweet, and now we're gonna go to the Monkey Shoulder Blended Scotch, which has a lot of honey, vanilla, zested orange, and other baking spices I find in there, along with a nice rich malty body. So that was an ounce and a half of Monkey Shoulder. I'm gonna add some ice now. So we'll shake this up and I'll leave the cherry hearing for the end. 10 to 12 seconds, or as I say, until your hands are freezing. All right, feels ready. I'm gonna pour this over a big ice cube. It's not just fun to look at, it serves a nice purpose with keeping our drink very cold, but not melting so fast so it doesn't over dilute the drink. And if you're interested in making this at home and you don't have access to an ice studio like I do, you can always buy, uh, they're called two by two trays and make them in your freezer or even save takeout containers or little yogurt cups, fill them with water and let them freeze overnight at home. So our final touch, we're gonna add to this nice fruit note of the scotch with a quarter ounce of cherry herring. And I like to leave it for the end because it's a nice touch to float over the ice. Let it sink down to the bottom. And that's gonna be our wildest redhead.